Uh, hello, my name is Corey Kickler. I'm with the USDA ARS at the Soil Dynamics Lab in Auburn, Alabama. Uh, I work with Dr. Ted Kornecki on developing different types of uh, cover crop management tools. The cover crop rollers we've developed range in size from, uh, from 12 foot, 14 foot down to, down to three foot for the small uh, organic vegetable guys or anybody using a smaller uh, tractor. Some of our designs, innovative designs, include uh, multiple stage rollers, which is uh, one single toolbar with many crimping drums on it. Uh, so you get the effectiveness of rolling multiple times in one pass and we scale those from the row crop producers down to the small scale farmers for, uh, that use a lot of walk behind tractors and the smaller scale um, tractors as well. And we also are developing tools to plant into the cover crop once it's rolled, uh, including some no-till transplanters so once the cover crop has been rolled, uh, the farmer is going to have to need a way to plant into it. So we're working with developing some small scale no-till transplanters uh, for these uh, small producers to be able to, to bring it full circle with their equipment, having the rolling technology to terminate the cover crop and then have the benefit of, of having a planter that's also adaptable to that uh, system to round it out. The conservation systems idea is to, to grow the cover crop and then be able to plant right into it. So whether it be a summer cover crop with a fall cash crop or a winter cover crop with a spring cash crop, uh, you, grow the, you grow the cover crop to maximum biomass. We choose to terminate or we try to terminate at flowering stage uh, for a lot of our, for, for the cover crops and then we'll come in there with a roller and roll it down and it'll wait three weeks before we plant into it. Uh, and that allows the, the cover crop to, to appropriately die. And then once the cash crop is planted, not, the cover crop won't, com won't compete with the, uh, with the cash crop for moisture and nutrients. And then if it's a legume, give it a little bit of time to release the nitrogen if that's the benefit you're looking for as well.